the lady from Anka. International Fair. Hi, today I'm going to take a look at best practice for creating a YouTube channel for somebody else. It could be a client or it could be the company that you work for. Right, for this I'm signed into my own Google account. I'm going to click the top right hand side and I'm going to select settings. And here I have two options. I can either create a YouTube channel or I can add or manage my channels. I'm going to add or manage your channels. And at this point, I'm going to click on plus create a channel. And I'm going to name this particular YouTube product clients YouTube brand account. And it tells me that I understand I'm creating a new Google account. This is actually a brand account that I'm creating. So to explain, there are actually two types of YouTube products. One is the personal YouTube channel and the other is the non-personal YouTube brand account. And it is the non-personal YouTube brand account which can be created for another person. In other words, it is possible for me to create it and own it and then transfer ownership to somebody else. So I have given this YouTube channel with the brand account a name. It's called Clients YouTube Brand Account and I'm going to click I understand that I'm creating a new Google account with its own settings. This is a bit of a misnomer. The Google account already exists. It's this one at the top right hand side that I'm already signed into. I'm going to click on Create. And there we have it. I have just created a YouTube brand account called Clients YouTube Brand Account. So now that I've created the Clients YouTube brand account, I'm ready for the next step. And that is to transfer ownership of this YouTube brand account into their Google account. Now, the first step that I really need to take is to switch myself back from being in the Clients YouTube brand account, indicated by the C at the top right hand side, back into my own account. So I am now viewing the client's YouTube brand account with the owner account, which is my Google account, the avatar at the top right hand side. The quickest way to do the next phase is to actually go to myaccount.google.com forward slash brand accounts while actively in the Google account that owns the brand account. So if I now scroll down, I can see immediately here is the one that I'm wanting to transfer ownership for. If I click on the forward button, I get to the point where I can manage permissions. I'm being asked to verify myself, obviously, because I'm now doing sensitive action and click on manage permissions again. And here I have the option to manage permissions. I am the primary owner with my Google account. And if I want to add Anybody else, I click on the top right hand side where it says invite new users and I can now enter the email address of my client and the role that I'm going to choose for them is owner and I'm going to invite them to become owner and click done. Now the next phase is for them to sign into their Google account with their email address, the one that I've just invited, and for them to accept ownership of the YouTube brand account that I've just invited them to own. For them to then wait 24 hours to sign into their Google account again, and to go back to the same link, myaccount.google.com forward slash brand accounts, to select the YouTube brand account called Clients YouTube Brand Account, click on Manage Permissions, make themselves into the primary owner and remove me from being anything to do with the YouTube brand account. And that is how they take full ownership of the YouTube brand account that I created for them. Thank you for listening and goodbye.